while, I have been organizing and look what I did. I took one of these little basket things and put all of my paints. I got these on Amazon, it was, they were $20. And I just hooked them up to this um, wire rack that I had anyways with uh, the zip ties upside down. And this way I can pull out my paints anytime I want. So I've kind of sort of organized them by um, brand. And I'm really liking this. So I just gotta make sure I don't pull it too far out. <laughs> but I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> Anyhow, that's what I've been up to. Hey guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Yeah, I've been busy organizing and stuff. I just ran into my sliding glass door. Luckily with my knee and not my face. I've done that once before. So anyhow, I am going to be doing um, a shadow pour on an 11 by 14 canvas. I just want to test it out. And I have mixed up these. Uh, well, I think I showed you the video. It was silent. Silent. Eye candy. It was eye candy pigments. They haven't had their, their time to shine. So this one is not an eye candy. It is in Modern Masters and it was iridescent gold, but I ended up putting some uh, writ golden yellow in it to make it do its thing. So I wanna see how well these pigments uh, react in this pour. Now, this is Kendo Brown, and I like it, it's dark, but I ended up mixing up some Quinacridone Nicolaso Gold in here, along with some Modern Masters Burnt Orange to give to make like a toffee color. We'll see how that works out. So I haven't tested that out, but I did test some others. So here we go. Oh my God, I haven't I haven't painted in forever. I suffer from um, I suffer from memory loss for one. <laughs> I also I suffer from migraines. So I've already prepped this canvas, and this is my pearl mix. Let's see if I can get it back in here. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's put that over there. <laughs> nice try. My knee hurts now. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't my face. I've done that. I have. And then I just told people that, you know, who saw my black eye, that I asked for a raise. <laughs> so, how I got the black eye. It's, of course, just a joke. But, um, yeah, let's put these colors down, see what they do. <clears throat> So I'm going to start out with the darkest color and I do have some black that I might put in later but I'm just going to do like a little Ta -da. and then this is that caramel I hope it doesn't look like poop that's all I just don't want it to look like poop and this is like uh, it is shoe copper and I added a little bit of rip dye to it. This one is Baku, Baku Red. Beautiful color. And then I'm going with the orange, which is Kakiro orange. And then it's gold, but it's almost yellow. Okay, so 
lot of paint. Shocking. All right, I'm just going to tilt some of this off. Doesn't matter what it looks like because I'm going to be putting another coat over top. Oh, there's a lot of yellow. Yellow gold. already starting to curl up so we'll just do this <laughs> I love doing that and I just go corner to corner to remove the paint and this paint is so thin it doesn't take that long to uh, dry a lot of people say oh my gosh a lot of paint on there and I did have a comment about the Rick dye and um, some concerns about whether it is um, archival but I have to be honest with you guys nobody really knows if acrylic pouring is archival I mean what I do is I seal these with an archival sealer so um, yeah, there's been no, there's been no um, studies about whether um, acrylic pouring is archival. So, interesting. I'm going to blow that with my mouth. Nah, we'll use, we'll use. This is going to be, oh, look at, see, it's coming through already. So, I've tried this with food coloring. I've tried it with um, alcohol ink. And I've tried it now with red dye. The Brit dye works the best. Um, it was a process to figure out which ingredient would work better or best. And so far, it's the Brit dye. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and blow this. It's going to be high and uh, cool. Organized, I have a hard time finding things. Oh, Malenta. This is so pretty. I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot to it. Wow. So. <clears throat> So cool because you can see the shadow underneath that's why I called it a shadow pour um, yeah guys I think I'm just gonna leave this for a little while and see what happens to it I'm gonna put you on time-lapse and um, yeah we're gonna watch some paint dry <laughs>
every time I do these, I'm more astounded. <laughs> and the pigments are showing up. So this does work with all brands, this technique. And I love how ethereal it looks. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. Very cool. You can see like the shadow underneath. Uh oh, bugs. Yeah, that Baku red is gorgeous. So I guess this is like a preview to Valentine's Day. <laughs> So I'll be trying this with, uh, yeah, with all different kinds of pigments, but uh, eye candy, it's a winner. Love it. Gonna do a bigger one now, now that I have my paints all mixed up. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now. All of my artwork is available for sale, and you can reach me at gcfluidart at gmail.com or you can go on to my website gratefulcreations.net ciao for now so this is not even 12 hours and it is pretty much dry and I gotta show you this I mean those pigments really shine gorgeous very happy with this piece. So this technique can work for all pigments. And I'm very happy. Woohoo! <laughs> Talk to you later guys.